здесь. Wallet is Wednesday, May 5th, it's about uh, uh, 16 hours into the day, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're headed out again, uh, going every day uh, until my mom gets better. Uh, it's, now, it's now her back, the back is the issue. Uh, once you get enough strength, and uh, it's basically doing the uh, physiotherapy all over again. Once you get used to the, the left turns here, it's not so bad. But then again, there's not a lot of traffic now. That was a bit of a balance trick there. Trying to keep my balance well stopped just momentarily but I didn't need to put my foot down to sort of uh, level things off anyways uh, Lionel LeBron is back on the air again he, well he was off for a couple days uh, apparently he's doing a new venture with his wife got his uh, wife of, uh, a radio show or something like that so he was working on that. But this is it. This is it. He's an interesting character because you watch how someone moves from one particular position. Let's say that uh, a Bernie Sanders Democrat moves over to Trump. Uh, not necessarily Republican in terms of his thoughts, but so, somewhat along the, those lines. And then uh, meanders. That's what he's doing now. Is meandering back in, not towards the left, but rather he's moving back in, into a. Uh, is moving into a more independent position uh, on a more official level but he's decided that that the, even though he's going to be independent there really is only a two-party system either democrat and republican and his preference right now as an independent is to be more republican and this is kind of you know uh, where a lot of things have been going is that you want to keep you want to stay independent. You don't want to be part of the crowd. Uh, you want to make your own choices, not necessarily what everybody else is doing. You don't want to. You, you don't. You're a person who really doesn't like labels. And he sort of is in that category where he's his own person and doesn't necessarily fit a particular group of or we said a defined limits. And so he takes this position as an independent uh, but realizes that you have to vote or otherwise you throw your vote away and the way you do this is is by voting uh, either Republican or Democrat as an independent so now that you don't get involved in party politics but you do nonetheless vote and to a certain degree because you do have the ability to get up and say things and be more articulate you now have the ability to be uh, to sort of uh, campaign without necessarily campaigning for a particular party or a particular position. Uh, in other words, you want to vote in you know, terms of minimal government, minimal interference. You want to keep things as independent as possible, so you choose basically the lesser of two evils. Uh, who are particularly running. You don't like the Republicans, but you don't like the Democrats either. Well, who's worse, the Republican or the Democrat? Well, the Republican, the Republican tends to leave you alone a little bit more. And so because the Republican leaves you alone and allows you to be more independent than the Democrat would, your choice for vote would be along the Republican lines. 
So the thing is, let's say, let's say you're you're an anti-establishment, but non-violent. If you don't want to be part of a, a, a large establishment, you don't want a large government, and you're anti-establishment, then your choice would be Republican, because the Republicans uh, do not support large government, but the Democrats do. And this, the reasons for your, your choice are more pragmatic than anything else. concentration there for a bit. Ready to reshift my focus. Things are definitely warming up. I'm wearing my lighter jacket now, so it's a little bit of a chill there, but not bad. Another, another first, moving around a, a stop vehicle inside, particularly the police. So I did that successfully. I do enjoy my rides. I can smell the burgers. There's a McDonald's to the left. learn as I go along as I do the rides. You're trying to figure out what the angles should be in terms of your ride. 
They're always slightly different. Because it's not until you actually approach the uh, the point of turn that you actually uh, that's what determines the actual what you call the, 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 the angle of attack, if you will. This uh is working. For a while there I thought it wasn't working, but it is working. It was yesterday it wasn't working. there is again that dip there right in the corner that creates an issue Still the 5th of May, and we are off on our ride. It's about uh, 9.30, it's about 21 hours and 30 minutes into the day. And that's the approximation there. I don't have a clock in front of me, so I can't give you the exact time. I can only give you an approximate. A little colder than uh, when I came. Well, well that's uh, goes without saying because it cools off in the evening, and we're still well within the spring.
I corrected an editing error uh, that has sort of popped into things. Uh, so I could probably properly date when I did the when I did the rides. So that's correct. So the ride log should be well. Right now, I'm editing uh, the 20th and the 24th of April. So we're within uh, two weeks of uh, a two-week of logging period. So uh, that's good. Which means the the logs you, when when you see this, it's not going to be too far out. The way it was before was you know over 30 over 30 days out. Okay, we got one car to wait. And here we go. I think next time, tomorrow night, I'll be wearing a, I'll, get a, I'll put a windbreaker on here because the windbreaker is, is necessary. The single layer is too thin. Because there's a fair bit of wind, a uh, fair bit of wind as we're riding. And that, of course, affects the... Uh, how you handle everything. So of course in the drier weather now we're doing about 40 kilometers an hour. That's their typical speed. We're 10 kilometers under Uh, pull to limit. Eight kilometers. It's at, well, it's too late. Had to reset the camera. It was full, it was aimed a little bit too much to the right. The skunks are starting to come out. I can smell them. conversation in mind, but it's kind of uh, gone from my mind at this particular point in time. But it's, it's, it's typically around the thing that the people are still freaking out. I don't expect to freak out to end anytime soon. And I said it before, freaking out is the panic is beyond logic. No logic can change the fear, the phobia. Well, that's what I wanted to say, that if the phobia is not something that you need to be, that you could be legitimately afraid of. A phobia is a fear that is, in a word, irrational. In other words, there's no reason for the fear. This is the person's afraid and the emotion overrides the logic. And that's the issue with uh, with phobias. Phobias are a fear that overrides logic. And 
in other words, there's no reality to the fear. And it becomes a psychological issue. doing as well on this ride as I thought I would hope to be doing. Uh, I seem to be having a very difficult time focusing on what I need to be focusing on. I think part of that has to do with, with, with the cold. Cold sucks the energy right out of the body. The older you are, the more difficult it is for the body to function, including thinking. that I am being buffeted around. So it does cause a bit of an issue. Like the fear of crashing is real. So it's not a phobia. who are hallucinate well I have a fear of a hallucination or quite a phobia because the hallucination itself is real but the hallucination is real to the person so it's difficult to say to me well it's not the fear fear is irrational it's a phobia because the fear to the person is very real and it's difficult to control these are some of the natures of phobias and why sometimes you have to be, you know, when you're dealing with people, you have to be a little more cautious. Not to push people into a panic beyond what they can handle. in this case here, you know, as I need to, I slow down, I go to the speed I feel comfortable with, and don't push it any faster than that. than usual. So happy for that. I think my typical speed right now is between 30 and 35. That's uh, where I'm very most comfortable. I think still 40, 45 is pushing it for myself. 